pathways in Stratham University have been an awesome experience. It has provided a, a holistic environment whereby you are able to grow in all dimensions. The facilities are awesome and the environment is good. That Stratham University spirit actually uh, makes you feel at home. It has been actually two years, but I feel it's uh, an experience of a lifetime. If I'll describe Strathmore in one word, it would be amazing. What makes Strathmore tick out? You know, it's a combination of excellence and fun. Excellence because we give them the best tools to be the best professionals in their future professional path and fun because they learn to do so with a smile in the face. Strathmore, when you look at it, you see it's just one more university in Kenya. We are in the business of awarding third level degrees and masters and PhD. That's not true. Our main business is to build human beings, good human beings for Kenya and for export. This is Nairobi's Strathmore University, an institution that has stood the test of time and one that understands that education is a right and not a privilege. The founding vision, you might say, of Strathmore is from the founder of Opus Dei. The vision and the educational philosophy of St. Jose Maria, who is the founder of Opus Dei. So that vision of doing something is the one we followed in order to begin Strathmore. We are guided and inspired by the Christian spirit. That spirit vivifies or makes, brings to live the way we do things. Strathmore College was started in 1961 as an advanced level sixth form college offering science and arts subjects by a group of professionals who formed a charitable educational trust. I give tribute here to Kevin O'Burn and he came to Kenya in 1958. He began teaching at the Royal Technical College. So as someone who knew the country, he then realized People are going overseas to do Form 5 and 6. People are going outside of Kenya to do university training. He was the one who was started it and then asked me to come here and join him. And we were the first principal and vice principal of Strathmore College. It was long before independence, so to change the laws then, segregative laws in education between Indians, Europeans, and Africans, it was very difficult, but they did it. I think the foundational spirit had it very clear that we have equal dignity, both Africans, Asians, and Europeans who are there. In March 1966, the first intake of accountancy students, 25 in number, joined the six form students and began preparing for the examinations of the UK-based Association of Chartered Certified Accountants. 1965, there were less than five qualified certified accountants in Kenya. It was a totally neglected field. And so the Association of Accountants of East Africa was supporting us. And that first class of 25 accountancy students came in 1966. Um, and literally it was eight from Tanzania, eight from Uganda, and eight from Kenya. In just five short years, Strathmore had become one of the region's leading institutions of higher learning. 